Ahoy, salty dogs. My name is Lenscap, and welcome back to Project Titan. Uh, this is uh, here to be season two of Project Titan. Uh, StarMate has updated and uh, done some changes to integrity, got rid of a lot of the features that I just really didn't like, and I uh, figured uh, I love this game. Let's play it some more. So I want to continue uh, with Project Titan. We left off about when New Power came out-ish. Slightly after that, I guess. And, uh, I see fleets are still having a problem. Um, we, uh, updated a couple ships, um, but I think now is the time to update the ships we have, finish out the hulls that we have that are vacant, and, uh, and then start building bigger and better things. Let's just do this. If I go to fleet and tell it to just idle, Hi, let's warp into this ship real quick and just hit C so that it centers on Galactic North. I think that'll be good enough for our lineup here. Since we're in this ship, let's take a look at this one first. Um, this is a freighter that I built on a Twitch stream. Uh, I'm probably going to be streaming StarMate some. If you're curious about watching Twitch streams, there's a link in the description below. Uh, Twitch.tv slash LensCap is my channel. So this is our freighter that I uh, that I worked on, and I like it pretty good. There are some things we need to change uh, for the most part, but for the most part, it's a pretty good ship. Let's see, if I come off center here. I forgot how to fix that. Okay, but it doesn't matter right now. Um, the one of the biggest changes we need to make is these guys. Oh man, this is really driving me nuts, this off-center thing. Yeah, I don't remember how to fix that at all. Okay, but anyway, uh, these guys, these little pod grabbers, they uh, are still in the old power, so we'll have to pull one of those out and update them. I think they're called the lockpick class. But I like this. This is basically my freighter. It carries eight cargo containers, and they kind of have this weird rotational thing, which I really like. Um, I tried something strange on this ship with the... Like, these are supposed to be... God, it's hard to point when my thing's all messed up. Uh, these are supposed to be, like, cables that connect to these whatever propellant tanks and then filter back into this. And they're, like, suspended on a logic beam? I don't know. I thought that was a cool idea. Um, I don't know how well it translates, though, so you guys let me know what you think of that. Um, this ship has no interior yet, so we'll get to that. But I've got this really, like... Kind of like if you imagine a motorcycle engine with a bunch of thrusters slapped on it. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for with all of the ships, not just this one, um, but all of them. So they all have like a bunch of wires and a bunch of like exposed mechanical looking pieces and and uh, and stuff like that. Um, this ship has this weird field shield generator thing here. Let's if I zoom all the way in, does that? Yeah, there we go. Okay, has this weird shield generator thing uh, going on on the bottom. I'm not sure how I feel about that. We might remove that and replace it with something else. It takes up a lot of space inside. Uh, it's not that much space. It's like four blocks. But still, it looks kind of cool. We may use it later in something else. Uh, but I'm not sure how I feel about it for now. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so that is this ship. It's got some interesting details. Uh, I think I like the crossed sails it has. Of course, we're going to stick with our sails. That's kind of kind of a thing. Um, I got a couple of AMS turrets, but no actual like combat turrets. I figured this would have to be accompanied by a uh, like a fleet to protect it. All right, so let's move on to the next ship in the line, which is I. Th think the pickpocket no the prowler class all right so we'll jump into this one and this ship still has the old power um so it's one that will be refitting let me know in the comments if you want to watch these refits or if i should just do it off camera between episodes or something and uh you just want to see new ships in the in the videos whatever you guys want to see let me know 
um, this ship, kind of the idea of this one was uh, a giant rifle strapped to the side of a ship, and I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I've already overviewed a lot of these, and if you want to see more about these ships, you can watch the last season, so we're just going to briefly touch on some of these. Uh, but yeah, I like this one. Uh, this is one of our fighters. We have two fighters in the fleet. The other is called the Shiv class, um, which we'll take a look at. I guess we can look at not quite next. We're going to look at the Bandit first. Uh, this is like my shuttle and the first ship I did in this kind of design style. Um, it's also the only one that's been updated with the new power. I might refit this, though, again, uh, since now that we don't have to deal with integrity, I think I can make this even a better ship. Um, and uh, at least one that I'll like more. But now that I don't have to worry about integrity and hiding the power sausage and all that stuff, then, uh, yeah, I think we can do much better here. But, uh, yeah, this is where the design for the fleet kind of came from, is this shuttle. Okay, let's move along. The next ship is the Shiv. This is our other fighter uh, in the fleet. Has this one been updated for new power? I don't think so. It's missing a turret. No, that's where it docks. <laughs> I can't remember my own ships. Um, it's been so long since I played this. Oh yeah, it's missing a lot of guts. This must be a, an empty shell of, of it. Well good, that'll be easier to, uh, to refit. Um, yeah, so this is our other fighter. This one, uh, while the Prowler features, it features a long range missile. This one is a short range ship and, uh, its weapon of choice are these dual Gatling guns. Uh, I think it's cool how they spin. I think it's cool how they appear to be like overheating on the ends. I don't know. I think this is a pretty cool looking ship as well. Um, I'm excited to work on this one some. All right. The next ship in the line. Let's see which direction are we going this way the next ship is the the cutlass uh, this is probably my favorite ship I've ever built um, this one has a pretty good interior that's my bird um, this one has a pretty good interior it's not quite finished inside but it's pretty close Merlin dude calm down my parakeet's freaking out over there um, so this one has the sails this one uh, has a large long-range gun this is our first frigate uh, class, like sized ship, I guess, in our fleet. And, uh, it doesn't, it has like its main gun and a couple of AMS turrets. Um, it doesn't have a lot of like offensive turrets, but I don't really feel like this one needs it. It's going in the fleet, uh, or its role rather in the fleet is to kind of stand back and shoot at things from a uh, long distance. And, uh, we'll have to, when we put systems in this, kind of uh, expand on that idea. Um, a few cool features of this ship are the this uh, cargo bay it has right here actually has a lock. So you can hit this button and force fields go in so uh, you can't be boarded through the cargo bay. At least not easily. Um, so that's nice. But you can also turn it off and transfer cargo in and out uh, with relative ease. Um, this one actually has most of interior and my favorite bridge of all the ships I've ever made. Um, here's the bridge. So we've got a captain's chair and then a, a, I don't know, a navigator and a gunner, a, a helmsman, who knows, two other stations uh, for that. We can go down this corridor and this is kind of like multi-leveled. Let's grab gravity right here while we're in the ship. Um, it's kind of like multi-floored, so I like that. You can hop down into, like, the mess area. Uh, and then that's where we have our airlocks and our way out um, of the ship. There is a ladder, I think? Yeah, here's the ladder. Uh, a quote-unquote ladder to get back up um, to the catwalk up here. I like that. I like the little cutout just for funsies. Uh, add some asymmetry. Okay, if we continue down... Uh, here's the crew quarters. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but, uh, it's crew quarters. You've got four bunks here. This is like super bare bones. Uh, but you've got four bunks for crew. Uh, continuing back, this is where the cargo is. And then there'll be an engine room here. Uh, I didn't do the engine room yet because when I built the shell, we didn't know what the power systems were going to look like. 
So um, that's why there's no engine room yet. But we'll put one in and then add systems, and uh, and this will probably still be my favorite ship um, in the fleet, at least until we build an even better one. Cool. All right, so there's that one. Let's get a HUD back on. Uh, the next one is the pickpocket class. I want this key combination to teleport. Um, this is our mining ship. This one also needs new power. I think we'll probably retire the ship, to be honest and build a new mining vessel um, just because it was one of the first ones we built and I'm not super happy with the design although it did kind of impart a lot of uh, design principles that we use such as this like open areas um, um, uh, scaffolding everywhere like exposed bits you know exposed systems looking and um, that kind of stuff, but I think we'll be able to redesign a mining ship and we'll build something even cooler than this. Um, so I'm not going to say a lot about this one. This ship is designed to work uh, as a fleet on its own, so it has uh, defensive turrets or offensive turrets, I guess, as well as AMS turrets scattered all over it. Uh, it launches six drones. How many drones is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it launches eight drones. <laughs> And uh, and it has a large mining array on its own. Let's see if it works. Oh, this must be the combat variant of this ship. I meant to grab the mining variant from my blueprints. It doesn't matter, though. We're going to retire the ship. Um, yeah, so I think uh, we'll call this episode zero. Kind of a teaser for a season two of Project Titan. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see out of season two. Do you want to see refits of the ships? Do you want to see only building new ships? Do you want to see fights? Battles? Competition? What do you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments. Um, I guess without any further ado, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the official episode one of season two of Project Titan. Stay tuned.